Hey there, my name is Jack and I'd like to introduce you to this channel where I'll try to use my cooking skills to teach you how to make delicious stuff. In the first bunch of episodes I'll try to recreate some of the most famous examples of Polish cuisine while I also try to give you some historical insight into those dishes. So, let's roll. First of all, let's talk about rosół, one of the oldest dishes that exist in Polish cuisine. It originates back in the medieval ages, when people used to preserve food in high amounts of salt. The process of removing salt was called rozsalanie, and it was simply simmering salted meat in a cooking pot. It had left them with pot full of meat-flavored brine and cooked meat. From that point rosu started to evolve. People started adding vegetables like carrot, parsley root, parsnip, onion and other stuff. That way they created one of the most popular soups in Poland that can also be used in recipes as a base for sauces and other soups. The recipe. To make this recipe as I do, you'll need to acquire chicken, carrots, parsley root and leaves, leek, onion and seasonings, salt, black pepper, garlic, allspice, chili powder and curry. You may not need to use chili powder or curry, but I find using it a very good addition to the whole mix. Also, if you want to make excess amounts of broth and don't have enough meat, feel free to use bouillon cube, it's a good substitute. Get some water in a pot, insert chicken to the pot, apply heat. Once you see bubbles reaching the top, there will also appear some foam that you should get rid of. It makes the liquid not clear. Also, apply salt. Peel your vegetables, they are better off without it. Also, cut them into small pieces so that they fit into your pot. Mine is rather small, so I had to do it right. Insert vegetables. Notice how I don't care that I got excess amounts of them. You can eat them now. Also, apply spices. Set heat properly so that it doesn't leave the pot. It can simmer on even lowest temperatures as long the bubbles appear. Set the timer to 40 minutes. This should make the meat and vegetables cooked. And now wait. You can pet your kitty meanwhile, or make second meal of the day. After the amount of time, add some parsley twigs and your rosu is ready to be served. The tradition of serving rosu is to add cut parsley leaves to the plate along with pasta. I don't usually do it, but for the sake of tradition, here I do so. You will want to acquire that, that kind of pasta. I didn't have much of it, so I didn't use it in the video. Follow instructions written on the package to cook it properly. And serve. Put pasta in the bowl, add parsley and pour some of the broth. After eating though, remove leek and onion for refrigerating. If you've done everything right and you've put enough meat inside, after a day it will be so essential you may want to add some water so that you may use it in other dishes. Happy cooking!